guys it's your girl and i was brought back with another video yes i'm back so guys as you guys can see i'm holding my microphone because i can't find that clip i think i lost it somewhere i'm not sure where but we move anyway so it's cold guys like it's very very cold it's very cold it's very cold it's extremely cold and it's wrong i hope while you guys are watching this you guys have your cup of coffee or whatsoever that you guys are drinking as long as it's warm i don't trust this coffee for some reason i don't trust it but anyway um we move ah we move okay so guys so today's um the title of the video as you guys can see i'm about to talk about my experience oh if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe like comment and share and if you are a returning subscriber welcome 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 thanks for sticking around i really love and appreciate you guys for that you know so let us not waste any time and let us get into this video so i've been watching a couple of ladies here on youtube talk Talking about their experiences their journeys so with most of them it seems like um lento beba petegashi you know so like i'm just like wow look at god's favorite children hey like i feel like if i had continued it would have ruined me badly so 2017 now um 2017 okay guys let me just start from the beginning and like maybe explain why i got it and whatsoever so i started my periods at, at a very very early age i started my periods in grade four and i was like i was like the only person in my family that started their periods at that time so um, it was quite like a shocker because my parents let me just say my mom was not really like expecting it like expecting me to have my periods at that age because i think she said she had got hers in grade seven or something so i was the only child in the family that had her periods at that stage like um that early imagine grade four what do i know about periods so what had happened was i was watching tv with my family and i was wearing a pink skirt i remember very well with like a pink skirt and this other pink and white top now so i'm chilling there we are watching tv is very nice it's very like it. everything is okay so yeah i like i started feeling like i i peed on myself or something so i'm like how can i pee on myself and not know like johnny it's so weird what is going on you know so like i sit down again i'm like ah, yeah, yeah. yeah i'm peeing on myself for real so i stood up and then i went to the the toilet so now when i got there i saw blood guys did i not think i'm dying did i not think yeah sure so i didn't want to scare anyone in the house because okay that's how i am like I, I keep things to myself so okay i didn't want to scare people in the house so i thought i'm dying whatsoever so i was like yo let me call my mom so i started shouting her her name nimbiza got to the uh the toilet and then she saw her. and then i told her that i'm coming on blood you know and then i'm dying and then she's like, oh my goodness, child, you are not dying. But I'm surprised that you're on your periods at an early age. Johnny, why? You know? So I'm like, what the hell? What a period, you know? So then, yeah, she she um, taught me how to use pads and, you know, all of that stuff, you know? So, and then I got the talk, you know, that talk that I shouldn't play with boys because my pad is going to fall down <laughs> in front of the boys. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, it was the pants. Mm. Oh, guys, I love coffee. So, okay, cool again. That's when everything started. So obviously, when I'm starting my periods, like for the first time, I didn't get period pains or whatsoever. Yeah, well, 
so grade five that's when shit started getting real i started getting period pains guys my period pains are the pet 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 period pains pets you know they were the pets like nasally pain there good you need to sleep on a cold tiled floor and not move just sleep there and do not move because once you move or once you breathe like <sighs> the pain comes back like this real quick you shouldn't move you shouldn't breathe because the pain will be like sing corner yo guys i hated it so i had my period pains like all the time i had periods i got period pains and i hated it never loved it never i don't think there's any female out there that loves period pains we hate them they are the pits so even in my high school years i still had period pains imagine i still had period pains i was like yo isn't there like a way to stop them to stop like period pains you know and your girl didn't really know about contraceptives at that time i'm telling you even if like i learned uh, at school about it they didn't really go in detail you know about contraceptives um, yeah that, that's what i was taught in high school that period um that contraceptives only prevent you from getting pregnant that was the chat so okay cool imagine only after high school your girl knew more about contraceptives only after high school you know so then um this one time i spoke to my friend you know and i kept telling her good to you listen i've got period pains i wish there was a way to stop them and then she was like oh i had a friend um that used to have period pains as well and then she started using contraceptives and everything just went right for her you know like she stopped having period pains and everything was grand i'm like are you being for real she's like yeah and then i'm like yo okay where did you guys go or whatsoever then she like told me where and you know all of that so i was like listen i am going so this is 2017 now i'm like listen i'm going i'm tired of crying and dying of period pains so i am going to the clinic so sharp again I went to that clinic guys so now when i get there i was so shook that the, and like at that clinic they didn't even like sit me down and be like listen we have a uh, two months we have a uh, three months we have whatever whatever that you need to know no they didn't tell me all of that so now plus on that day i still had to go to i still had to go to campus on that day so like i was in a rush you know i didn't want to be at the clinic for like the longest time i just wanted to get there and get whatever i needed to get and then go back to school and then okay cool i get them and then they asked me if i've ever tested for like hiv all of that and i'm just like no because i had like no barely like no and then they're like oh, okay cool we're gonna test you right now i'm like yo guys listen i don't have that time honestly like i still need to go back to school like i really need to go to school i just came here to get i thought this was gonna be quick honestly you know and then they're like hey okay cool it's fine um are you on your periods i'm like why and then they're like you, you like in order for you to get those contraceptives or for it to start working like properly you need to be on your periods i'm like oh shit why 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 wasn't i told about this plus lynn i never did a research on it like i never did any research on it i just i just listened to a friend and i was like i'm getting this as long i heard that it's stop the period pains not yet am i i get it in twitter it's stop the period pain so i'm going to go and get it i don't like period pains period no one does so okay cool game and then she was like ish i okay cool then um no like hey okay no it's fine which one do you want to go for you want to go for the two months or the three months so in my head i'm like ah i'm sure it's the same thing like it does the same thing so i'll just go for two months i'm sure like the difference is just the months otherwise it does the same thing so i went for two months the two months injection because i didn't want the pill because i'd forget like drinking the pill every day i'd forget so she gave me the injection shop shop okay cool get okay. and a footsie i remember the month it was november so i haven't i didn't have my november periods as yet 
because I normally have my periods um, towards month end and yeah and I go for five days so sharp again okay cool so now obviously I'm waiting for my November periods to come yeah well so okay cool then it's towards month end my periods come and everything is grand everything is fine sharp no complaints see hip see hip hang it Helping over, I'm like, like, so now I'm excited to get my periods because I know that I'm not gonna get period paint. <laughs> well, damn, so now I'm excited to get my periods because I know I'm not gonna get any period paints. So I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. So then I get my periods and I don't get period paints, yeah. Well, so now I'm happy, yo, oh, I'm living my best life, you know. I'm like, listen, I, I am alone. Man. Last word. Wait again. Yo. Shall we get? Like, remember, guys, I said I go on my periods for five days. All right. Okay, day five. Yeah, I'm still on my periods, but they still come in. They still. They still on their way. So, and then I see uh, five days. Like, five days is enough. Why am I going for more? Eh, and then I see myself on the seventh day. I'm like, mm mm. Why am I still on my period? Why am I still on my period? Yeah, why? Eh, on eighth day, I'm like, hey, yeah, yeah, let me read the pamphlet. <laughs> and then in the pamphlet, it stated that if you go on your periods for more than 10 days, you need to come back to the clinic. They like, it's normal for like your first time on you getting your injection or whatever contraceptive that you went for. So I'm like, okay, cool, it's normal. So okay, ten days, yeah, I'll be fine. Yeah, I go for more than ten days. I was like, no, oh, I'm wilding now because firstly, that week, that like the week that's coming, there's an event that I really wanted to attend. It, it was my friend's birthday. I'm like, they, you know, I was like, there is no way I'm going. Go, like, I, there is no way I'm going to that event and I'm on my periods. Like, I didn't want that at all. You know. Plus, my periods are supposed to be done, like, a long time ago, like, you know. So I was like, ah, the next day I'm actually going to the clinic. So I get into the clinic and then they tell me, eh, no, it's fine. We're going to give you, like, pills to drink, you know. So so they, they, they gave me pills and they said I must drink them every day. And it was those contraceptive pills as well. So they just said I must drink the white ones. Nah, they didn't really explain about the red ones guys let me tell you nah, nah i don't like i don't like um what can i say i'm the person that wants and i know it's wrong i know it's very wrong i'm that person that wants things to work like immediately yeah well so obviously i don't i didn't care about what's going on as long as they told me that drink the red ones drink the white ones and they'll stop they didn't say anything about the red ones thing is i think also the clinic that i went to shame they didn't like inform me about things they were just saying okay when are you have this type of situation okay drink that so what about the other the red pills what are they for you know i, I didn't know that so whatever so i drank my pills every day and my period stopped the okay the first day i drank the pill my period stopped and I was <laughs> i'm going to that event so i guess my period stopped again i was happy so you know I'm like, okay, cool. Eh, okay, again. Now the white ones are finished. No. I'm like, mm, since the white ones are finished, let me drink the red ones as well. <coughs> Be I don't know why they never told me. Plus, Lynn, uh, guys, listen. This, uh, I didn't like reading, so I was told to do what I needed to do. So I didn't want to go any further and be reading, you know. So again, I drank the red pill. I wanted to see. I really wanted to see what was going to happen. I drank the red pill and guess what? I was on my periods again. I wanted to cry. I wanted to cry. Like, I really wanted to cry so badly. I was like, Johnny, why? It was a mistake. Can I take it back? You know, you know all of that, you know? Plus, I didn't tell my mom that I was, <laughs> I was going to use contraceptives. I didn't tell her. So, ish, you know, parents, guys. 
parents like looking for things you know and they're going to find those things so i don't know what my mom was doing and then she found my pamphlet you know the pamphlet where they tell you when to come back to get your injections or whatever so yeah she found that now i had to explain to her you know it, it was just a lot it was just a lot it was just a lot but anyway yeah i just had to tell her that listen these are for my period pains and whatsoever then okay cool then as i started being so moody all the time i'm so angry i have headaches every flipping day like i'm not understanding what's going on with me like guys imagine in janky kwatile everything kwatile like like sorry sister why are you so angry every day you angry 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 all the time you're so angry you're so frustrated you just want to beat someone oh yes i was just so annoyed every day in pity kind of headache like i'm for next i'm for me next year so like i'm just thinking maybe it's my hormones you know <laughs> they're not used to such things maybe it's gonna take some time when you sell a ring baba gita ah let me just like continue because i mean my friend was like she doesn't go through these things that I go through. Everything I've told her. I'm not going through such things. I'm just like, you, God's favorite children. I was so mad all the time. Headache every day. I'm just like, mm -mm. Sometimes I wake up feeling sick. Like, I just want to throw up. Like, I don't want to eat. I'm just like, what the flippin' hell is this? Like, why am I... Like, I've seen other people say, oh, it helped me gain. It helped me have a proper skin. It helped me get bigger boobs. <coughs> me, not next. I was still the same old nosy. Same old nosy. Hmm? Same old nosy. I'm just like, sh shame this thing shame it's not for me this thing is not for me so i stopped now so i stopped using it i stopped using it i was like i get pella that's like me killing myself inside like yes bulala slowly 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 i'm like destroying myself inside because firstly this thing makes me so mad my periods are insane the days are longer i'm not understanding why why are my days longer I had five days I was happy. Now extra two days for what? For don uh, at least if it made me gain, at least maybe gain make me gain a bum yeah or boobs. Nothing. So I was like, listen, this thing is not doing any good for me, so it's just better I stop. So I stopped using it. I stopped. And then I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened, Valet. Oh no, it's I stopped now. I stopped for like a couple of months. Hey, my period pains were back. This time they were worse. They were worse. You know, I was like, listen, I'm not taking any chance. I'm going back to this um, contraceptive. So I went back and I started using the contraceptives again. This time I went for the three months one. So I went for the three months one. Ish, guys. Flop, oh, flop, flop, flop. I went from bad like already the two months was treating me so badly the three months was worse the three months was worse okay cool i think i had two months i didn't have my periods for like two months now and that was quite scary that was quite scary <laughs> that was quite scary but at the same time i was happy because no periods for the month Kira, when they came back they came for two months they came for two months yeah ah shame else my body come as a bitch hang gag oh my body enjoy while it while it lasts i was enjoying that two months without periods when they came back they came for two months two months guys two months periods for two months imagine periods for two months what's that what's that nyoso what what i what Damn it! Ha! I know. Uh, no, no, no. This period. Mm -mm. 
And this one I was like, listen, I'm making up my mind for real. I'm stopping this. Like, these things are going to ruin me. Like, firstly, never mind. <laughs> so, like, I was just scared due to these things are going to ruin me. Like, in the future, when I want to have a baby now, things are, like, so complicated and whatsoever. So, I was like, no, listen, I'm going to stop using this contraceptives, like, ASAP, you know. So, it's so that, like, you know, they just clear up you know because i still believe that i still have like you know you know when you use different um what's this word it's like ish guys i can't find that word but when you're using different things like in your body like, like how your body reacts to them all the time you're using new things your hormones sometimes don't accept sometimes they do all these new things that you're introducing to your body like inside all of that it takes time for it to come out i hope you guys know the word for it like i can't find the word but i hope you guys understand what i'm trying to say like you're introducing new things to your body things that they're not used to foreign things and now they need to react and they react differently so now when it's time for you to like let go of these things your body's so used to these things that now they react snacks in a way when you don't have them. Yeah. That's how that's 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 close. I mean you need to understand what I'm trying to say, that I explained enough. Like I just don't know the word for it. All I'm trying to say is um, if you want to still use contraceptives, go ahead. If it treats you good, then you are God's favorite child. Well, with some of us, it didn't really treat us good. And, you know, but, I mean, if you still want to go on contraceptives, that's okay. I'm just here to share my experience. Like, I'm just letting you guys know what I went through. And I'm just saying I'll never use contraceptives again. We all have different stories to tell about contraceptives. But this was me just letting you guys know what I actually went through using contraceptives. And it was not fun at all for me. And... I don't know if I'd want to go back to using contraceptives, you know, because I know there are um, things like your implants, your, what's that? I call that thing the T-junction, T, or is it the U? I don't know, but the one that you insert inside your vagina. I know about all of that, but mm, as long as it's a contraceptive, guys, I am, Gishap. Gishap, wait again, Gishap. Ah, Gishap. Yo, I get up, you know, get up. So, yeah, that is me sharing my experience with you guys. And I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And again, I'm not saying don't use contraceptives. Use them, sweetie. If you have done your research enough and know what you're putting yourself into, then that's okay. Go ahead, use them. And if you are using contraceptives and they teach and they're treating you, <laughs> English, if you are using contraceptives and they are treating you very well, then you are God's favorite child. You know, congrats to you. But anyway, please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. This is from me to you. Bye-bye.